Well this part you didn't see on the video from Finlayson Park uh, School this is uh, electricity and magnetism are closely related so I've got a coal here and a magnetic uh, lamination pack stack like which is used in a transformer and we turn it on de-energize Also magnetic fields created by electricity flow through the air as well. So I've got a little coal here with two LEDs and it doesn't have to touch the coal, it will still work. Same principle as some cell phone chargers or an electric toothbrush. So I've got this clear of the coal, there's a magnetic field around here and it will create a, produce electricity in this coal which can be used to charge up a device or for a little light. So completely separated here. I've got another one here too with some green LEDs. May not be that bright. Increase the voltage a little bit. Here you will see the increase in current. There's hardly any current flowing through this uh, circuit. We've got a coal here, we've got the magnetic shunt, the mag laminations. When I remove the laminations, see the current go up very quickly to about half an ampere. In the real world, when a transformer works in this position, it will burn itself out very quickly. It goes open circuit. Um, here's that loose field coil I had. I put a couple of plastic things, a couple of uh, milk uh, bottle tops. Magnetism even goes through, uh, I'll just increase it a little bit, uh, even goes through plastic, so it doesn't really matter. Now I put the Laminations back on and the current will reduce drastically again. I'll try to bring it down slowly. Watch the ammeter as soon as that's and the current drops back to low. It's the same model. A, an electrical contactor in a circuit can't close, it will burn out very quickly. So there is a massive increase in current here. This is the aftermath of the actual 2.5 mil house wire which we burned. Really been hot. You can see the copper has melted. And here you can see how quick a circuit breaker operates in close up. 16 ampere. Click. Then you've got a 32 ampere. It's not on the range click instantly. Show you the M meter too. And this is the classic rewirable fuse with a 30 ampere fuse wire. Pop. Slow blow. You can see the wires melted here. Melted there. Open circuit. Fuse wire like this, I've reloaded the fuses going through the middle. That's called uh, so tortuous path. I'm going to pop this one again. See if we can capture the spark. See it glow inside. Never wire a fuse up like this, but it's just to show the visual what actually happens in the fuse. And on the ampere meter, it's visible how slow the response is of a rewirable 30 ampere fuse. A lot slower than a circuit breaker.